we're here at the brand new Westfield Stratford for the premiere of the penultimate film in the Twilight Saga. In Breaking Dawn Part 1, Edward and Bella finally marry in what you could describe as the wedding of the year. It's no surprise that the tryhards have come out in their thousands to catch a glimpse of the stars. I think there's 3,000 fans here tonight. You had a massive premiere in LA. Have you been really enjoying that part of it as well? I love it. It's like the most interactive relationship between fan base and movies I think I've ever known. And uh, right from the beginning, like, I was in touch with fans and they had like a, gr a lot of interesting things to say like don't water this down, it's a crazy book and make it just as crazy in the movie. What was it like when you watched the finished film for the first time with all the effects and kind of seeing Kristen in that way really, it's quite scary. I, mean, I remember walking onto the set and because her body was a dummy and it was looking with this huge, huge oversized pregnant belly and these tiny, like, I mean, her body was just obvious but there was no way to live like that. And, and it just had Kristen's head like, on the top, like she could move her head around. It was the most hideous thing I've ever seen. So it was kind of a, just emotional seeing that, even just walking onto the set not doing anything. <laughs> and do you think Bill did a good job? Yeah, no, I think he did a great job. And he's such a nice guy as well. I mean, it's, it's, they're hard movies to make, the Twilight movies, and, because they're just long, long hours. And we were shooting for like eight months or something. And he stayed really good humored, good natured. So like, it's, it's great. Now, Bella really comes into her own in this film. Have you been excited to make Breaking Dawn ever since you read all the books? Yeah, ultimately. In this, things become much more clear. She doesn't seem so crazy. I mean, she gets everything she wants. Everything comes to fruition. And um, Bella becomes the clearest version of herself, which is nice to see. It's like she's she's very, almost animalistically her, herself. We had Stephanie on set this time around. Um, she's always been on set, but not every single day. And uh, I think that was, to have that shared energy, it was the first time I found someone on set who I was like, okay, we, we definitely like this as much as each other. Like, you know, I couldn't, I could never find someone who loved it as much as me. And I know that it's obviously different for her. She created it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. And for you playing Jacob, what was your favorite thing about Breaking Dawn part one? Um, I mean, for Jacob specifically, he goes through an incredible journey in this one. He starts out the movie as the same Jacob we've always seen, but by the end of it, he really has, you know, become a man, and he's forced to deal with a lot in this one. What does it feel like when you when you think back to Twilight, when you first auditioned to the role of, of Jacob, and how far you've come? Is it quite surreal? It is. It is so surreal. I mean, a lot of great memories within the past four years. But I, yeah, I think the three of us were actually just recently watching clips of us from Twilight and just seeing ourselves that young. I mean, it was. It is crazy. It's crazy to look back at it. Bella. Come on. So there you have it. That was the UK premiere of The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. Now you just have to wait until next year for Part 2.